half of the youth have, who have been victims of dating violence and rape have attempted suicide as compared to 12.5% of non-abused girls and 5.4% of non-abused boys. So those numbers are startling. They are chilling. And, you know, we just need to really pay attention to our kids and really sit down and have these conversations in depth and not just kind of, not just pass it off as, oh, you guys are having a little spat or something of that nature. You really need to, um, we, we really need to sit and talk to our kids because with numbers like one in five, you know, of all teens across the nation that have experienced teen dating violence, this is definitely a conversation, a dinner, t dinner table conversation that needs to occur. Everybody, Miss D here bringing you another hot topic on the Teen Scene 10. So I'm back with you today discussing, continuing my discussion on teen dating violence. And this segment, we're going to talk about dating basics and the relationship spectrum. Now, what is a relationship spectrum? Relationships, all relationships exist on a spectrum and that spectrum ranges from healthy to unhealthy from unhealthy to abusive so I'm going to give you the key characteristics of a healthy relationship an unhealthy relationship and an abusive relationship so let's get right into it so let's start with healthy because you know we always want to start with the good the good stuff first so a healthy relationship is based on equality and respect. And that means you and your partner are making decisions together. You can openly discuss anything you're dealing with, you know, problems, choices. You enjoy spending time together and you can be happy when you're not together. So the components of a healthy relationship are respect, good communication, trust, honesty, and equality. Okay? Your, your unhealthy, un, un, unhealthy relationships are based on attempts to control the other person. So that means one person is making most of the decisions, they pressure their partner about sex, or refuse to see how their actions can hurt someone, or hurt their partner um, and they feel like you should only spend time with them. So the, the characteristics of an unhealthy relationship are breaks in communication, pressure, dishonesty, struggle for control, and inconsiderate behavior. So those are unhealthy things. And Please uh, be very clear that unhealthy and abusive go hand in hand. So if you're in an abusive relationship, you are in an unhealthy relationship as well. Um, abusive relationships are based on power and control. So you see there's that link, control, because an unhealthy relationship, remember, is where the person is attempting to control another person. And abusive relationships are based on power and control. And, but it's to the extreme where in an abusive relationship, one person is, is making all of the decisions. Sexual choices to your friends, to your boundaries, what's true and not true. Um, they expect you to spend all of your time with them. And like they don't even want you to talk to anyone else. You know, especially when, and they definitely don't want you to tell anybody else what's going on in that relationship because they don't want to be outed as being an abuser or a manipulator. You know, there's a lot of, well, let's get into the, the 
the characteristics of an abusive relationship. Accusations, blame shifting, isolation, pressure, and manipulation. You know, so those are all things that, well, again, are unhealthy and abusive. And please don't make the mistake of thinking just because your partner in an abusive relationship, just because your partner is not hitting you or harming you physically, that you are not in an abusive relationship. Don't think that for two seconds because, you know, it's not healthy if your partner is inconsiderate it, or disrespectful, distrustful, tries to control you emotionally or financially. Um, Keeps you from getting jobs or getting fired so that they can maintain that that control over you. You know, your finances. Again, this, this um, topic spans not just from teen dating violence, but to also young adults in college as well. So, you know, it may, the foundation may have started in high school or during the teen years, but it, it, it continues on through college. Um, so I just wanted, and I just want you all to really check your relationship, check what you're allowing people, you know, and how, how you're allowing people to treat you, what you're tolerating and realize and understand that everybody deserves to be in a healthy relationship that is free from violence and abuse. You know, draw the line between unhealthy and abusive. It can be difficult to do, but you have to do it. If you think your relationship is going in the wrong direction, you need to, you know, talk with somebody, talk to a counselor or a friend, or even you can even go to, I'm going to give you a website. It's loveisrespect.org. And you can even text them. You can text love is to 22522. Or you can call this hotline one. 866-331-9474. And even more important, you can hit me up. You can hit Miss D up on the Teen Scene 10. You can mess you can DM me. And if you need it, you know, if there's any information that I can get for you or provide for you or help you figure it out, I will definitely do my part. I'm not a counselor, but I I can do the research and I can get you connected to somebody who who is a certified counselor. So Please be safe. Love is respect, absolutely. And Miss D is going to sign off. Stay safe. Be blessed. Thank you.